girl Brie back again with another video. For today's video, I did this no liner invisible liner look. I've been seeing it everywhere and I wanted to try it. I tried it out the other day and I really liked it. So I was like, let me film it because it's super cute. I really love how this look came out. Like so many of you guys were telling me that it looks so cool. So I'm super excited to be showing you guys this video. I hope you guys like it. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the little notification bell thing so you can get notified every time I post a new video and make sure to comment what you guys want to see next. Make sure you guys like it, you know, you got to give it that thumbs up. You got to give it that breathe thumbs up. If you guys want to see how I got this no liner liner look, then make sure to keep on watching. So I'm starting off this look with the Violet Boss Holy Girl palette. I'm going to be taking the Morphe M433, taking a little tiny bit of hashtag and transition. Putting those right into my crease. So now I'm going to be taking a Crown Deluxe Blending Brush. I'm going to be taking this shade Are You Kidding Me? Are You Kidding Me? <laughs> I'm going to be putting that a little bit lower than I did just to start building up definition. This look is not the easiest, but the transition shade is bomb. Now to give a little bit more definition, we're going to be taking the shade called Brownie Points. So now we're going to be taking some of the LA Girl Pro Conceal, dab it on a little like that, and taking a flat brush. We're going to be cutting the crease, and you're going to want to do a circular kind of cut crease. So once you cut the crease, it should look something like that. So of course, me being me, my camera died. So I already put NYX glitter primer and the My Beauty Mark Makeup Academy bronze pigment. And now I'm gonna be taking a little tiny bit of glitter glue and just tapping that on top, like randomly. And then I'm gonna be taking the bulk glitters. This is in the shade Peach Fuzz. In the shade Peach Fuzz. <laughs> now I'm going to be taking the MAC Cosmetics Concealer. This is in the shade NC20. And I'm going to be taking it on a little angled brush. This is the one from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the one that came with her Kyliner. It's like my favorite angled brush. So now we're going to start the illusion of the invisible eyeliner. So now moving on to the face, we're going to be taking the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This has been one of my favorites lately. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I have not used the liquid one in forever. I used to hate this because when my texture was really bad. I know it's so bad. This really emphasized a lot of my texture. So if you guys have a lot of texture, I would not recommend that. But I'm going to just be taking a few pumps on the back of my hand. Just applying. It also has a weird smell to it. Like I noticed that a lot of foundations are starting to have weird smells to them. I'm just buffing that in with the Morphe M439. I'm going to be taking the same MAC concealer. I'm just dotting it on with my finger, under my eyes. This used to be my ride or die concealer. And then I discovered the Tarte Sheet Tape. 
Then I'm gonna be buffing that in again with the Morphe M439. One thing that I've really been into doing that I usually don't do is cream contouring, bronzing, whatever you want to call it. And I've been doing it with the NYX HD concealer. This is in the shade 08. So I just like dot a couple dots right there. And then I'm gonna be taking one of the BH Cosmetics brush. This is brush number three. It comes in a set, so I think it's number three from that one. And I just like buffing it out like that. It looks really harsh at first, but you really have. it kind of takes a longer to do, but I really like how it looks. You can see once it starts blending, it just makes my skin look so nice and bronzy. And I'm buffing it in circular motions like that. So I already set the cream bronzer with the Wet n Wild contour palette. It looks like this. This is in the shade Dulce de Leche. And then I brightened up the rest of my face with this shade. I really like this actually. It was like $4 I think, but I really have been loving this. And now I'm gonna just be spraying my face. And this really lets all the powders melt in together. And it already makes my skin look super glowy and I haven't even put highlight on. But for highlight, we're going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is in the shade number two. It looks like that. It has a really nice gold highlight and then a really nice bronzer. But we're just going to be taking that on the Morphe M510. You already know this is my favorite highlighting brush. Have not used a fan brush ever since. Like, you see that? Shout out to Ricky for giving me this on my birthday. I decided not to do blush with this look because I want to keep it super bronzy and super glowy. And for lips, I'm going to be taking the MAC Cosmetics Strip Down Lip Liner. And I'm going to just be lining all my lip with that. So since, of course, can this really be a beauty tutorial without being extra, we're going to be taking the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss. This is the Poppin shade. And I'm not sure if it will look good or not since I already have a lot of Poppin stuff on my face, but let's try it. So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification bell and if you guys like this video, let me know. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!